what's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers I'm bar boss if you haven't hit the subscribe button go down below and hit it because every 500 subscribers we're having a raffle so today we're gonna be doing a few things to the Civic um, before we start let's go do an unboxing so I got this box in the mail you guys already know I ordered my head studs so this is what this is gonna be ARP head studs we got some stickers and of course the bill the bill came up to $121 on these but these are gonna hold the power that we're gonna be putting down so this was definitely a needed item for the build so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open put you guys on the table right here cut it open so we can take a look at it here's the part number 208-4301 and we got some paperwork instructions we got another sticker instructions we got some paper right here and check it out we got the lube we got the washers and the nuts And we got these guys, which look very, very nice. So now that we got this unboxed, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys over by the Civic so we could get started and not waste any more time. So there's still a lot of things that I gotta do to the Civic. One of the things is the headlights. Well, not the headlights, the tail lights. They gotta be put back on. Another thing is I got to go to the junkyard and pick up a fender for the passenger side, which I am missing. Um, another thing that I have to do is I got to do the suspension on the passenger side, which I have not done yet. And also the starter. I have to install the starter. I did clean it up. I have the starter right here. So... I think I'm just gonna throw you guys on a time lapse and try to get this done before we start anything else.
so we did a bunch of things right now you guys see me install the starter which is right there you guys saw me do the the tail lights that needed to be installed i was getting water through there into the trunk that was the reason why i needed to bind that up um, another thing was the suspension on the passenger side it wasn't done everything was loose the axle wasn't in i went ahead and i installed it so now this whole side is ready to go um, i think we're pretty much ready to install the head studs onto the short block i'm gonna go ahead and pull the head studs i have them inside the civic right here And I think what we're gonna do is take this off that's covering my pistons and we're gonna get the compressor and blow e each of these holes out to make sure that there's no stuff in there. Make sure everything's as clean as possible. So I got the compressor filled up already and I am gonna individually blow air into each one of these holes. I got these center pistons covered up since they're all the way down there just so I don't get stuff in there and everything else I'm just gonna blow air into. The point of doing this is so it cleans out each one of these holes therefore your head studs will go all the way and bottom out completely flush at the bottom without having any debris in there. So now we are ready to put the head studs in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this stuff that we got in here, the lube, and we are gonna put it only on the side that's gonna go down right now because I am out of time. I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow to finish this. But for now, we're only gonna set them in here. So the side that has the Ellen key will go up the rest will go all the way down after you put a little bit of this. Um, these don't get torqued yet. Um, they do get torqued, but after the head is on. So when you send these down, you use hand tying it, and that's it. So I'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse and get this done. pretty much in there now I did use this right here it's got a little Allen key at the end to help me send it in there a lot faster like this I'm not putting any force into this and there is no torque spec like I said for this it just has to be hand tight no nothing else that's pretty good right there they're all about the same and that's pretty much it for for the head studs they're all in we could install our our head get our wire harness going underneath and then drop our head on top so it's pretty late right now um, it's six o'clock I gotta go get my daughter from the high school and I think this is where I'm gonna leave this video off um, the next video, the VTAC head is going to be dropped on there and then we can start installing our turbo stuff, get our exhaust manifold and all that good stuff on there. But like I said, this is the end of it. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go down below and hit the subscribe button because um, we are having raffles, like I said. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.